Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul with us today and it's a big one and part of it is because I went Christmas shopping, holiday shopping should we say, for my students. So I'm going to start with that. So I saw someone else in another video um, haul this. This is the Make Your Own um, Glowing Bouncy Balls. So here's what the front looks like and then here is the back. And they actually did a review of this, and it said it worked very, very well. So this kit allows you to make two different um, bouncy balls. So I might have went on the hunt for these because I have one bag here, and I have, oh gosh, this bag here. You can kind of see through the bag how many there are. I had to find 17 of them. So it took me three stores, but I did get... 17 of those and then I got one other thing for my students and again I had to buy 17 of them so here they all are within the bag because I'm not going to pull them all out but I will show you. I found these uh, Mr. Sketch scented crayons. Um, they have the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. Um, and for some reason, my kids don't have crayons. It was on their school list at the beginning of the year. Um, but we do interactive science notebooks, and one of their requirements is to color them. And they're always using, um, like the classroom crayons. So I was like, my kids like to smell things. These are the scented ones. They'll each have their own pack. It's just something I think they'll like. So the scents are cherry, orange, banana, apple, blueberry, grape, cinnamon, and black raspberry so I'm hoping they enjoy those for Christmas also talking about Christmas I got some of these for my house these are the um, solar lights and they come it's currently stuck down but here it is it has like a little hook to hang them up so I'm thinking about hanging these up in my porch so they could get powered up all day and then they could glow at night um I might do a review on these to let you know how they work and if you should find them I was only able to find one blue but I got two green two yellow and whoops that's and the two red. So I am looking for another blue to be nice and even. Um, and I'm hoping those work. And then also on the topic of Christmas is I actually have had a student teacher with my co-teacher this year. Um, so for Christmas I'm going to be making her a little like student teacher or really first year teacher survival basket with just some things like I know I definitely use as a teacher. And it's expensive to get it. Um, I buy it at the dollar store too, and she uses like our supplies, so I don't think you know that will be a big deal. But um, here's the basket. I'm gonna put it in, and then uh, once I get everything, I'm actually gonna use this um, heat shrink wrap um, thing to make a nice big basket. So I got her this three pack. They call them storage trays. Um, at the Dollar Tree, but we use these in our classroom. We use popsicle sticks and we pull the kids numbers to answer questions sometimes So it's just like nice to have them around multiple places in the classroom um, Another thing you could use these for I actually bought different ones, but we use um, like a positive reinforcement system um, Within our classroom so our kids have to earn like they're like little links um, they have to earn so many a week to earn their like fun Friday time. We call it fabulous Friday time. So you could always just store like those reinforcements to hand out throughout the day in there. I did get her a tape dispenser. I did not buy her tape at the Dollar Tree because I know their tape isn't the best quality. So I'll either find tape somewhere else or she'll have to get her own tape. Um, I got her a pack of rubber bands. We got... Um, handheld sharpeners. Um, one thing we have definitely taught her is A, do not let the kids use colored pencils in the um, electric sharpeners because it will break the sharpeners. 
Um, but B, also sharpeners break because kids don't know how to use them properly and they overstuff their pencils in it and they get jammed and then it takes a while for us to like figure out how to unjam them. So it's just great to have sharpeners around. I got her some sticky notes. So this one's just a cute one with like a little light bulb on it. And then this is a four pack. It has pink, yellow, orange, and green in it. This one's 150 sheets and this one's 125. Got her a pair of adult scissors because you will find you use a lot of those. We have like, I don't know, five or six pairs in our classroom. I got her some dry erase markers. I wanted to get her some fun colors. Um, these are like gold in the classroom. Our kids use dry erase markers a lot and I feel like I'm constantly replenishing it even though I'm always sending home for parents to please 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 send me more I got her a single hole punch value of this is you will find out a lot <laughs> um I got her some book rings so if she decides or ends up in an elementary room where she needs to label book baskets or otherwise we just did an activity that involved giving the kids book rings to make like a strategy booklet out of index cards I got her two dry erase erasers obviously you have the markers you need to erase them i got her some fun colored paper clips this has 250 paper clips in it i should actually have gotten myself one when i was there because i desperately need more paper clips and then i got her um sticker note flags um we give these to students to break up their notebooks for different things or we use it when we're marking sections in our book that we need to refer back to so it's just nice to have a lot of them around and especially colors because the kids like to pick their own colors and the different things and then hold on i need to just grab her last two things um i did get her some borders for a bulletin board so we got this fun just rainbow pack I always buy two packs in the Dollar Tree um, brand because there's 12 pieces and I find if you have a large bulletin board you're going to need more than one um, pack. You'll be short by like two or three. And then I got her numbers ones because she's also not only going to be certified to be an elementary school teacher, she's going to be certified to teach math. So if she ends up in a math classroom you might want a math bulletin board. And then... Um, the main reason why I actually went to the Dollar Tree this morning was I went to go get my newspaper um, so I could get the coupons in it. So, coupons and more coupons. And I think there might be some more right here. Even more coupons. Um, it's just really one of the ways um, that helps me save money so I have money to do Dollar Tree hauls or get school supplies when we're running short because you're going to find out like kids use a lot of supplies and I could beg parents to bring it in and the majority of them will but sometimes it just takes a little bit to get it in so it's nice to have like some supplies on hand to hold them over until um, all the supplies comes in. And then I did end up actually getting a couple things for myself. So I actually got myself uh, three of these. As you guys know, I'm moving to the middle school next year. Currently, the ones of these we have in the classroom are actually my co-teacher. So I'm sure she's going to take them with her. So I figured I'd just pick them up while they were available. Um, I also got this. I've seen people hauling it. This is the Yes to Dual-Ended um, Mask Tool. So this end up here, which is a little bit thicker, helps apply the mask. And then the bottom section, if like you have a peel-off mask, it'll help you peel it off. Sometimes it gets like a little grimy. Um, again, I will potentially do a review on this if you would like to see one. Um, I also got this while I was out. So these are scratch art. Um, you probably maybe did them when you were in elementary school. I know my elementary school art teacher used to have these for us sometimes. But I'm thinking about you maybe using them as gift tags for Christmas. So like scratching like names in it. There's 50 sheets in here and there's one stick to scratch with. So I'm excited for those. Um, we do a big Christmas Eve with my family every year. 
and unfortunately a lot of the older extended family in my family has been passing away so I don't know how much longer it's going to go on but I figured I would pick this up to do why we were there so this is family feuds card game and it's kids versus parents and I don't really care that it's the kids versus parents one but family feuds fun so like on the one side it's like name a style of dance you would not see at a nightclub and the other example was name a food you hope you got milk to go with it so that's probably more of the kids side and this is probably more of the parent side um but it's just something fun to do at the table like as you're talking and seeing what people respond to um there is a lot of dvds currently out at the dollar tree and there's a lot of good ones for kids. Don't get me wrong. I actually thought about picking up two more for my science classroom, but I just didn't know how I would use them quite yet. Um, or if I would use them at all. And at some point, I have to rein myself in. But I am in love with Christmas movies, and I've never heard of this movie before. This is called Christmas Bounty. Um, this is the girl from The Secret Life of an American Teenager, if you know who she is. Um... This is a supposedly a WWE star. I don't follow that. Um, but it's about a teacher at an exclusive Man Manhattan private school who has a secret bounty hunting past and she's forced out of retirement for one final capture. She entangles her well-to-do boyfriend in a high adventure holiday pursuit while stopping at nothing to keep her family's bounty hunting business hidden from him. Um, and then the WWE star co-stars as an old flame who reawakens her justice-loving Jersey girl side in this Christmas action comedy your family shouldn't let get away. So I picked this up. It sounded interesting. I'm always looking for new movies to buy, so I was excited about that. And then I actually did buy one last thing, and I'm just going to pick up my phone because that's what I've been resting it on. Um, let me do this way. So... Hi guys, um, I got the Inspirational Quotes 2020 um, calendar for next year. It says, get inspired all along the year with the advanced coloring. Oh, there were, it's just advertising the coloring one on the back. Um, but an example quote, this is a two-day calendar, so you'll get the same quote for two days. But it says, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And that one was a Walt Disney one. Um, we currently do something like this in our classroom. We use the 365 Days of Wonder quote book. Um, but again, it's my co-teachers. So I thought this might be fun to have. I could keep like some of the quotes and use them for next year in my own classroom. So that was everything I got. Sorry, I feel like I'm so close up and now I'm messing up the hands. Um... If you like what you saw, please subscribe down below. If you would like reviews on any of these products, please leave me a comment and I'll make a review video and let you know how they are. And thanks for watching. Bye!